<laughs> Hello. <laughs> and that's how we start. Yeah. Check, Lisa goes, checking connection. Boy, we better be connected. I mean, one never knows. It's an ask me anything. We're actually outside because it's such, look at the sky behind us. I know. Look at that cloud. It looks like a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> True story. We're actually in our basement and we've just pulled down a green screen. <laughs> and we don't know where the dog came from either. I know. Somehow one of the random, one of our 18 dogs showed right? up. Hey, exactly. Miranda. Hey, Chipmunk3126. See? See? I know. We need it. We do. Twins Herrera. Yep. Oh. MCM QVC. Who's uh, that? Who's that guy? What? MC. This <laughs> is our green screen. We just pulled it down mm -hmm. behind us. Mm -hmm. And, we and we're ready dog. to go. Yeah, some yeah. random dog. Hello, Rosalia. Hello, Mary Jo. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mara. Uh, Michelle, good to see you. Everybody's hopping on. Everybody loves this Ask Us Anything. And yeah. we'd love to ask you back in return. Yeah, we do. Because yeah. we always want you to play along mm -hmm. with us, right? So, hey, um, can you guys hear us okay? Like, give us a, like, thumbs up or something cool. Um, everybody's saying hi to MC, but we are outside, so I just want to make sure that you can hear us okay. Yeah. Um, hey, Laura. Hey, Alana. Good to see you guys. Hi, Karen. Uh, forgive the sunglasses. We're outside. Once the sun goes down, uh -huh. we promise we'll take them off. Until then, we would just be squinting. Oh, boy. Please. Mine are oh, boy. Stop trying to look at the questions. <laughs> I'm so trying to look at the questions. Right. So well, MC how, said he can hear us. Okay, good. Good. How is, hey, Megan, how is everybody's Wednesday? So here's something hilarious. So my mom, like, runs or is part of a big rotary club down here in Delaware. And so I didn't even tell you this yet. So she calls me today and she's like, honey, could you do me a favor? By the way, she loves when I talk like like that's how she talks she doesn't talk like that honey could you do me a favor um we need a guest speaker um at our rotary um oh. tomorrow and we were hoping that you could maybe like talk to us we want to know about what it's like running a business uh remotely and what you've had to do sure so i was like wow okay um yeah, sure. Like what time? Like quarter to seven in the morning. Um, uh, and I'll send you the link and we'll get all set up. And I go, okay, I'd love to. So what do you do? Like a video? Hold on. Here's the best part. Okay. So I go, so tomorrow. She's like, right, Friday. I go, today's Wednesday. She goes, uh, today is Thursday. And then there's that moment where you're like, is today Thursday? Because I'm pretty sure I have all my meetings set up for Wednesday. <laughs> and I go, mom, um, it's Wednesday. She's like, ah, we got plenty of time. It's not till Friday. So anyway, yes, it's going to be kind of like this. It's on Zoom. Oh, really? And um, I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about it. And then there's going to be some question and answer. Oh, my gosh. I think that's that so fun? much fun. I know. So is she going to give you the details tomorrow since she called you a day early? She might give me the details like the morning of because that's how she rolls. I think it's so funny. Is anyone else's mom like that? Like we all adore our moms and it was just Mother's Day. Yeah. So they're, they're the best ever. But they all have their little idiosyncrasies, don't no, they? No, not my mom. And I don't. No, and clearly Lisa doesn't. No. And I'm a dog mom. And a mom to Ed's kids, so clearly. We're perfect. <laughs> right? Oh, God. Oh, hello, everyone. Hey, Daniela. Good to see you. Oh, this is so right. Wait, I have to tell you something. Tell me. Do you ever watch Steve Hartman on CBS this morning? Oh, on CBS? love. And he always does the little things with the kids? I can't. Is he still doing that? Yeah, so he oh, still love. does it, right? He does okay. that, like, he takes an hour with the kids every day. They can watch him on Instagram or Facebook or something like that. Yep. So he did the coolest thing this week or this weekend. I don't exactly remember when I saw it because we don't remember what day it is. Is it, is it Wednesday? Is it Thursday? <laughs> I'm not sure. But he did the neatest thing and they interviewed kids around the country. Yeah. And they had, instead of Emmys, they had the greatest mom award, Aww. right? And so kids sent their entries in and then his kids had to pick the winners. Oh my gosh. So they interviewed, he interviewed his uh, kids. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Told you. Lisa's like, yeah, let's leave the dogs out here. I'm like, no, MC, let's not. <laughs> do you want a doggy? <laughs> so, so his kids mm -hmm. picked the winners and yes. they came down to this fact. I love that you just put him down. He's now going to go over to the fence and just bark at this poor man. I know, but it's further away. The bark <laughs> okay. is further away. So go ahead. Away. I'm sorry to interrupt. So, so go ahead. his kids couldn't pick a winner. Aww. And his kids are young. And they they came to hey. realize that everybody has the perfect mom for them. So every mom should get a trophy. Um, that's amazing. If you haven't seen it, really go check it out on YouTube. Yeah. It actually made me cry. That's awesome. It's really sweet. Really sweet. So for those of you who don't know, Lisa and I have been quarantined with one another mm -hmm. since um, March 21st. It's week eight. Teen. <laughs> Hundred. <laughs> 
Um, I said, it's like, it's like when you're on a desert island and you're journaling, like it's day 972. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, that's why uh, you see us together a lot. We're doing um, our must-haves. We have a dinner party. Uh, just trying to keep you guys entertained, keep us entertained, visit with all of you, yeah. um, and just share some laughs ar along the way. So yeah. thank you guys for being such good sports and always hopping on. We absolutely love it. Now we need some questions for Tara. Yeah, let's go. And while we're waiting for your questions, yes. I love that look what tim just said it's the first day of the rest of your life uh -huh. right yes mary joe said don't worry they bark thank you mary joe <laughs> <laughs> it's true hmm i didn't know that when we rescued for right. them would my mind have changed never uh, never ever ever never love love oh, love rosalia love she but... thinks we're funny thank you rosalia <laughs> yeah i don't know about that but <laughs> goofy taking it on the road baby yeah. oh we got virginia here Ooh, i love that i love 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 yeah i was reminded um of that expression is it we have if you had a bank account and inside it i'm going to reverse the numbers because i can't remember it was either you have forty eight thousand six hundred dollars or forty six thousand eight hundred dollars and that amount of money is put into your bank account every mm -hmm. single day wow. what would you do with that mm -hmm. if you knew that tomorrow was the end you would use everything you could to spend that money and so it equates to how many seconds are in the day right yeah. and so what would you do with that time yeah. would you deplete it every day and what would you spend your energy on and it was just such a really cool quote and i i know i screwed it up because i can't remember exactly how many seconds or minutes or whatever it was that, but though. it was really cool like equating mm. it to what you would do with money uh which is time is way more important than money so it was just it's just interesting yeah oh mary bates i miss you I too know. my friend so mary bates i'm gonna brag on her a little bit she probably mm -hmm. hates me for doing it but mary bates is one of the single most beautiful human beings on the planet she uh works at qvc and mm -hmm. she uh makes all of our the guests who come in and out of the building mm -hmm. look like rock stars and superstars and she keeps us on time and she keeps us organized and she is just the best and so since we haven't been going into qvc obviously for week 1800 um <laughs> we miss our qvc family sure and we really miss you my friend so thanks for jumping on thanks mm -hmm. for saying hey she uh she makes the world go round no doubt about it mary joe's asking how ed is um ed is good thank you he is feeling much much better so he was a little out of it for two days yeah. but he was just uh, talking to nurse lisa over here and That's he right. has bounced back he has well, and he, are he, you giving him the seal of approval i am well, okay he has really bad allergies he has horrendous allergies and Jeez. they actually make him they actually give every year they give him a fever and they make him really out of it so that's what happened but it was only for less than 48 hours and he's back baby he's back and he always and by the way he's in there rolling his eyes because he doesn't always love when i overshare but oh, exactly hey, you know what that's what happens all right i saw a pattern question oh tell me is firework fetty retired never are you kidding love firework fetty mm -hmm. love firework and we've leaned into patriotic a lot I which is that. where we mix the two yeah so that's probably what you're seeing a little bit more oh wait on friday night yeah um in the kitchen with mary we have a platter we do that's available in ocean fetty yes. firework and, yeah mm, uh, all of the seasonal yeah, colors the seasonal right colors. um so on qvc2 at 10 p.m i actually just shot a really cute video for it mm -hmm. uh sometimes we call in sometimes we send videos so everybody's just trying to do whatever they can to uh support um, our, our products and share with all of you uh, any which way we can. Uh, Megan said allergies are the worst. They're the worst. Yeah. Shane asked a good question. What? If you could have dinner with one celebrity, with who would it be? One celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, other than me. Well, oh. I mean, <laughs> forget it. Game over. MC. It's only Lisa. <laughs> and, and MC. All right, fine. Um, that's really interesting. What celebrity? Um, I don't know if it sounds so cliche. You know who I, I, I actually, I don't want to get into politics or anything like that. I would yeah. love to have dinner with Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. I would love to have dinner with like Oprah. Yeah. I just love these kind of strong women who have accomplished a great deal in their life. Yeah. So that's kind of who I would gravitate to towards. And then, I mean, if Ryan Reynolds was available and Ed didn't mind, I would totally have dinner with him. How about George Clooney? No, that's you. That's you. But would you? All right. I, I mean, if I had to. I guess. Maybe? in On Lake Cuomo. Oh. Only. Exactly. <laughs> or forget it, I'm busy. Or forget it, I'm not coming. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Um, let me see any of the questions. All right, I have one for you. You do? Yeah, Tell when, me. So when you were a kid, and can everybody along, please play along with us. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, please answer. Answer the questions, because we love to Ooh, see where's your, your favorite vacation spot? I'll go. tell you in a minute. Nope, no. go ahead. Oh, Cabo. 
Love. That love, was easy. Love, love. Oh, yeah. One more mm -hmm. dancer. Cabo. Cabo. Mm -hmm. And um, Amy was on. So Amy and I have gone many a time. It used to be our girls' trip. We would go and stay at a fun place in Cabo. And it was something that we looked forward to because she lives in Colorado. And obviously, I live here on the East Coast. And so it was hard for us to see each other. So I, I don't know if I really love Cabo all that much or I just love my memories of being with her there. I love that. Yeah, I know. I think that's awesome. I'm a nerd. No, you're not a nerd. All right. <laughs> when you were a kid. Yeah. Like, what were you really into? What was your thing? Was it sports? Was it theater? Was it like, what was it? Yeah, so it's really interesting. So I was a total tomboy, still am, by the way. Um, and so we were, we had a stream in our backyard. I would go out in our backyard. Actually, I reunited with some friends from like high school that were also like my grade school friends. And we were talking about the Creek in my backyard. You may say Creek, I say Creek. And, uh, there were salamanders and crayfish and you would, you would not do well, but we used to like pick oh up God. rocks and pull the crayfish out and you could actually pet them to sleep. Stop it. And so we would have the crayfish out. We would pet them to sleep. And then you'd be able, they look like little mini lobsters. And then, of course, we'd always put them back and salamanders. So I was always, we had a, Tux, what's up? When By the way, Tux is six pounds of fury. Like, <laughs> no one is ever coming in this yard because Tux is there. Um, he's chasing a bird now. Good luck. Um, so it was always, uh, we had a swing, we had uh, like a rope swing that we would swing on. And I was four years younger than my sister and all of her friends. And so I always wanted to like tag along with them and that never worked and they never wanted me to. Ever. Um, I feel like I'm talking to my psychiatrist right now. <laughs> and then they wouldn't let me play. Um, so and I so, petted a crayfish right? to sleep. <laughs> That's how I coped with my feelings. Um, no, so it, it was always outdoors, always doing something fun. It's part of what I think kids miss today. I mean, we literally oh, no. like go outside and we had a bell. Mm -hmm. And when you heard the bell, no matter where you were in the neighborhood, you knew it was time to come home for dinner. Isn't that was that, that was the deal. Yeah. Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. You just have to get the kids off of their phones. Text them, let them know. It's crazy, isn't it, you yeah. guys? Yeah, so I was into that, and then later in life, I got into sports. Um, my best friend at the time, Karina, her mom um, got me into playing soccer and skiing, and then I was on the swim team, and, you know, up until then, I had never played any sports, so. That's so fun. And Tracy is saying true, so we know that this is all true. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep the stories to a minimum. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love that everybody's answering along. So some Tell people me. are saying like Vegas was their favorite place to go. Florida. Oh, love. Uh, someone said absolutely love Cabo. Mm -hmm. I love how everybody's piping in like, yeah. what, what was your thing as a kid? Because everybody yeah. kind of has What that. was your thing? As a kid. Lip gloss, um, <laughs> hairstyles, <laughs> makeup. No, it, nothing's changed. It was ballet and tap. Yeah, I could see that. It was. Yeah, mm -hmm. I could totally I used, see that. I love that as a kid. I tried that. I was in gymnastics. I tried ballet. <laughs> I have what some people would call thick thighs. So the whole ballet thing, Tara, hey, it's, they're muscular. That's what my dad used to say. They're muscular. He had these little chicken legs and I have these like <laughs> muscular mm -hmm, legs. So ballet didn't work for me. <laughs> it just wasn't. It just wasn't It cute. wasn't your thing. <laughs> no. All right, everybody. You ready for the next question? Oh, I am. Favorite entertainer. Who's your favorite entertainer? Favorite entertainer? Okay, let's start with musical. If you were going to go to a concert tonight, if we yes. could go to a concert. Maroon 5. I, I knew you were going to say that. Please. Come what on. do you guys think? Maroon Who's yours? 5? Who's yours? So I love Bruce Springsteen. I know you do. Like 100%. Have you ever seen him? Uh, I've seen him about 15 times. So you've never seen him? I've never seen him. <laughs> when I was in high school, I used to. I know this about you. I used to sleep out for. Do you guys remember sleeping out for tickets? The fact that my mother ever, I don't think she did. Did she know where you were? I was just going to say. You would, it was a Ooh, thing. Alanis Morissette, Celine Dion. Oh, Celine Dion. Uh -huh. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. We took, oh, look oh, how much Teresa's fun that having is. Sloppy Joes. Do you know how much I love Sloppy Joes? I haven't had a Sloppy Joe in forever. Bob Seger, Bob great Seger. entertainer. Wait, do you know that my husband, Joe, actually opened once. Like he's a musician on the side for Bob Seger. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. How? I tell him the story. Okay. I mean, I think it was him. <laughs> Just tell them about who you saw canoeing that one day or paddleboarding. Oh, it was Lisa. <laughs> is, it was Bob Seeger, I promise. They're on vacation in Hawaii and she sends me a message or somehow we talk and she's like, You're never gonna believe who I was paddleboarding with. Who did you say? Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. You were, oh yeah, and his dad, and I they were so dad. great. They were so nice, and blah, blah, blah. How did it come up that it was? We were at a meeting in QVC and Tara starts. 
re repeating the story. Like Lisa just this back awesome. from vacation and she met Lance Armstrong and Lance Armstrong's father gave her um, paddleboard lessons and she's telling this story and I'm like, something's not right. So I looked at her and I said, I, I'm i pretty sure I, it wasn't, Lance, it wasn't Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. So now everyone's looking at me like, you got it wrong. And I'm like, um, you told me Lance Armstrong. And nope. then she's like, who is it? Laird Hamilton. <laughs> I'm like, who's that? <laughs> the story, she went from like hero to zero. No, I'm like, no. who is that? He's like an unbelievable surfer in mm -hmm. Hawaii, seriously. Yeah. And his dad taught him to surf. And his dad gave me a paddleboard lesson. Mm -hmm. And then we went it by the house. It was better when it was Lance Armstrong. It, well, well mm -hmm. we went by his house and he mm -hmm. waved. And yeah. Bill Hamilton yeah. was like, Laird, that's Lisa. And I heard Lance. Garth Brooks. I would love to see Garth Brooks. I agree with that. I love Billy Joel. I've had the honor of seeing Billy Joel a few times. We actually... Oh, we did. Went together. It was a wedding gift. It was our it was our wedding yes. gift to Joe and Lisa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that oh, was so a you lot remember of fun. that. I do. Mm. Hall and Oates, who I have seen because they're from Oates. Philly. Love Hall and Oates. So I saw them at the Kimmel Center. They did a um uh, this is years ago. They did like a Christmas concert. Oh, that's it was awesome. Un it was unbelievable. Ooh, Queen. Oh, you guys are you guys are Tom Petty. Okay, let me tell you what. Mary. Mm. Ed saw Tom Bet Petty. It was like maybe like two concerts before he had passed away. And Ed, I'll never forget it. He was like, he is the most amazing entertainer. It was the best concert. Mm -hmm. I think it was in somewhere in Queens and I can't remember the place and he loves the place. Um, a smaller venue and he was, oh, he was doing it the next night and Ed was like, I should have gone back. He was talking about it and then for whatever, life happens and wow. he didn't get, get a chance to go back. Um, but yeah. Tom Petty, he's his favorite. Bon Jovi, I love it. Paul McCartney. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, he'd be great. I would. I uh, the Beatles. Right? You know, I love it. If you ever Me want too. a good station on, on Pandora, right? Mm -hmm. We play this sometimes. Oh, all the time. The Just Pandora, say Beatles Radio. Beatles Radio mm -hmm. is really good. Alexa's been kind of finicky with me lately. Like, I say, Alexa, play Jackson Brown Radio, and she plays one song, and then she turns off. And so when you ask her, hey, Alexa, why did you turn off? By the way, she's probably talking inside. Yes. She's like, um, oh, I'm sorry. It must have been a mistake. Yeah, it's weird. Okay. And she was yelling at us at the other night she when we had was. our dinner party. Wait, so Lisa unplugged her. I did. That's how that works. Do you guys remember that movie, Christine? No. Do you remember it was like a... Oh, is it a scary? It's, yeah, nope. it's well, it's like a you know, it's this car. It's a Stephen King. Oh, the car that becomes possessed no. and doesn't like the girlfriend and like oh. that's Alexa to me. Oh anyway, sorry. Oh, everybody. look, Ed's talking about Tom Petty. Oh, he is. Where is he? I missed right. him. He's right there. Oh, there See he him? Is. Tom Petty. <laughs> Ed, what was the name of the venue again? I'm sorry, babe. Was it I couldn't the remember. Iridium. Mm -mm. No. 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 Uh, I can't remember it, but got it. Oh, oh look. Glenn Miller, Tracy. Yeah, good call. I love an opera John at Denver. the Met. Oh, John Denver. Do you know Ed, High. Ed got to meet John Denver at QVC, and he still really? yes, he still talks to talks about it to this day as wow. one of truly the greatest people he's ever met. I love that. Isn't oh, that neat? Look, Lori slept out too. Lori, right? She slept out to get tickets. <laughs> Finally, someone. Thank God, somebody <laughs> made me feel better. <laughs> oh, Stevie Nicks, yes, yes, yes. So, oh, my daughter just saw her in concert, like Fleetwood Mac did something Ooh. in Philly. Holly? Holly? Yeah. Oh, uh-huh, she said it was amazing. Lucky Keith Urban, I would love to see Keith Urban. He's been doing those um, yeah. those shows, like on Sunday nights yeah. when they do They're the concert. They're really cool. He's great, really cool. seriously. Uh, cheers to you, oh, great job on Forest Skype. Hills. Oh, Canada, Lise. Oh, Brenda. Brenda. Brenda saw you in Thank Canada. You. Yeah. Oh, they, that was so much fun, Brenda. Takes a village of Forest Hills Tennis Stadium. That's it. Thank yeah, you, babe. Where the I, could US not, Open I could is. not remember. James, James Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. I saw him. Outside. Um, in Philadelphia, they have something called the Man Music Center. Pink. That's love pink, too. That's an outside venue. Ooh. And you can bring food and drink love. in, and it's awesome. Yep. 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 Ed said John Denver was a gem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. awesome. Still talks about it to oh, this day. Ed yeah. All right. Let's get some questions going. All right. You ready for yes. some more? Let's do it. Um, oh, oh, this is mm, this isn't an easy question. This is not. Can mm. we start with something else? Yeah, we'll move on. Okay. <laughs> what were... <laughs> Yikes. This well... one's going to be really hard. Okay, go. <laughs> it's like a teacher. This test yeah. is impossible. You're, you're never going to pass. I know. <laughs> okay. What room in your house is your favorite? Uh, what room in my house is my favorite? And what room in your house is your favorite? Um, we have like a little nook with like a bump out window and we've put some like swivel chairs in it. I call it the lounge. I'd have to say that's my favorite room. Is that the Tesher Lounge? It's the Tesher Lounge. It's uh, MC affectionately named it the Champs Lounge. I like that. That's where we drink champagne. <laughs> <laughs> we called it the Tesher Lounge. He's like, no, 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 no. No. It's no. the Champs well, Lounge. It's not your lounge. It's our lounge. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay, it's so still too why is that your favorite room? 
Um, it makes me feel really calm and on the walls, uh, whenever Ed and I travel, we pick up something that's really meaningful to yeah. us yeah. from where we've been. And so we've made that wall, um, our wall. Yeah. So it's like all of our trips and, and so I love just sitting in there. It just, it makes me really happy. That's actually awesome. Yeah. I love that everyone's chiming in like outside. I yeah. love that Mary Jo. Yeah. Living totally. room, living room. Jen Bot says her kitchen. Yeah. Oh Tori yeah. says her dining room, kitchen. Yeah. What's yeah. your fave? Um, honestly, mm. it's this, like, we have that little sofa in our bedroom. Yeah. And little, that's like sitting my room. little, it's like my, mm -hmm. it's like my teeny little space. It's your sanctuary. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of, it's like, I feel like I own it. Mm -hmm. I, Cause I, I sit there and read. Same I reason. feel like I own it. Well, it is your mm -hmm. home. So you probably do. I know, but you guys know if you're married, you know, it's not always, you have to share it right. sometimes. Right. Joe doesn't go there a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of good. I feel like I own it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay. If you opened a restaurant, now that you are such a curator of all this amazing food on QVC, yes. what type of restaurant would it be? Mm, I think it would be American. Mm -hmm. Meaning like a mix of kind of like every way that I like to eat. Does it have to be a specific like, you know, like when I think about would I have Italian? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would I have steaks and chicken? Yes. Okay. Would I have, I mean, I can't say I would just open up a taco stand, which I would love to do by the way. That would be my jam. Yeah. Uh, with uh, guacamole and chips. But oh. I think it would kind of like be a little bit of everything. That would be, actually, that would be amazing. Okay, l this is fun. And everybody answer with us. Okay, favorite Italian meal? Cheese ravioli. Really? What kind of sauce? Uh, bechamel. What? Mm. Really? Mm hmm Because your, your mom makes an amazing one. Nothing so, like it. I don't, I'm not a red sauce person. Mm. To be totally honest, it takes okay. a lot for me to eat a red sauce. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'll always pick some type of, um, what's the pinky one? The um, vodka, that? like a vodka sauce. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like a bechamel. Oh, bechamel. oh I love it. Chocolate. Oh, chicken parm. Uh, chocolate. Chicken parm. Chicken parm. Look, it's a run on chicken parm. Everybody, everybody on Instagram love, yep. loves chicken parm. Love, exactly. Oh, look, eggplant parm mm -hmm. is what Dana said. Baked yep. ziti. Yep. Cheese pizza. Yes. Yes. You know that's me all I, day long. Lisa. Cheese. And Ed. Totally. Pizza all day long. Ed would eat pizza every day if he could. What's your favorite Mexican food? Uh, my favorite Mexican food is chips and guacamole. Mm -hmm. And I love a burrito. So there is a mm. really great place down here called yeah. Taco Rijo. And they have, it's a it's like a truck. And they started, I think the owner, if I remember the story right, he lived in California. He actually was a chef for some of the celebrities. I never knew this. Yes, he was from here originally. Moved okay. out to California. Um, opened up, but was a, a, a celebrity chef, got burned out there, came back and started, uh, the food truck, um, before probably it was even cool to have a food truck and it's awesome. That's amazing. Love it. Okay. Ooh, sour broughton. Love sour broughton. Oh, oh, chicken part for dinner. Lisa Mary just asked me today while we were on our walk this morning, mm -hmm. what sauerkraut tasted like. I've never had it. It's, so we were talking about hot dogs and like. This is what we talk about on our walk food. Everybody's like, wait, what? Uh, we were talking about hot dogs and how we like them. Oh, mm -hmm. fajitas, fajitas, yep. taco chips and salsa. Yeah. Look at this. Salsa wait, Verde. everybody's loving. Mm -hmm. Pizza like, for breakfast. Yum. Totally. Uh, yes, I would. please. It's cold. Doesn't yeah. even need to be warmed up. Does not. All right. So what's your favorite? Oh, what's your favorite kind of sushi? Uh, my favorite kind of sushi is a shrimp tempura roll with spicy mayo. Yes. Yes. No, I like that. I like spicy mayo. I like mayo. to just say mayo to her because she doesn't really love mayo. Well, I don't like... <laughs> nasty. I'm not sure what nasty is, but maybe the hot dog <laughs> or sauerkraut with the vomit face. I actually love the, vom the vomit face, Ben. That's uh, that's actually awesome. That's very funny. Oh, enchiladas and guacamole, chicken fajita, uh, taco salad, lasagna, mm, pork enchilada. All right. Favorite dessert, and I know the answer. S'mores. Mm -hmm. S'mores. And I've been making microwave s'mores yeah, like crazy. Yeah, tell them crazy. How, how you do it like when you don't have the full grill or fire pit going. Which is how I do it all the time. Right. Um, I take my graham cracker and I cut it in half, break it, and I hate when it doesn't break even, but I break it in half. <laughs> and then I have those, Ed buys those campfire marshmallows that are like as big as my head. So I pull them in half and I put half of the marshmallow and I put it in the microwave just long enough so that it blows up to like this big. And yeah. then I quick turn the microwave off so then it goes and as it's going down, I drop my little piece of chocolate in it, and I put my other thing in it, and my graham cracker, I smush it, and then that's my dessert. Oh, my. See, now I'm going to want one tonight. Oh, spicy tuna roll. Love spicy tuna rolls. We had this last Hey, night. I can make you one before you leave. Yeah. You can take it on the road. <laughs> a it's, s'more? Yeah. A s'more, a s'more for the road. 
<laughs> yeah. Too bad I didn't drive. I mean, too bad I drove and didn't walk. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, Vienna chocolate chunk ice cream. Oh, that's a great dessert. Um, Can you say hi to these guys real quick? I'm Tux is crying at the door and it's actually breaking my heart. Yeah, so hold absolutely. On. So I right want to hear what more. Okay, let's do this. What is your favorite ice cream? And when Tara gets back, she'll, she'll answer her favorite. What's your favorite ice cream? I know Tara and I were saying the other day, the one thing that we really miss, uh, Monday was National Eat Any Food You Want Day, and there's this place in New Jersey and Delaware called Core Brother Ice Creams, oh. K-O-H-R. Love. I miss my soft serve. So favorite ice cream? Favorite ice cream is a twist of vanilla and chocolate and then dip it in uh, van uh, a rainbow sprinkles. A rainbow sprinkles. Oh, it's my mm -hmm. favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, so you are in the grocery store. Okay. And you have to pick out like whatever, a pint, a quart. It's gonna be Ben and Jerry's. Okay. It's gonna be something with marshmallow. Okay. And like they have like a kitchen sink or they oh, have yeah. like graham cracker or something. Their Rocky Road is good too. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a Rocky Road. I'm not Wait, a Wait, isn't that I marshmallow? Don't... Isn't there nuts in there? Yeah. No. Mm -mm. That's the Rocky part of nope. the road. Nope, <laughs> not a fan. <laughs> not a fan of nuts in my food. I don't, I like them okay. separate. Like I love pistachios and almonds and everything, but like put it in my food. Well, I like green bean almondine. So I do, I do, but that's because it's all in butter and it's just You like when delicious. I make you salads. I'm known for my salads, by the way. You like, I'm going to eat your salad. <laughs> you like. <laughs> she sings. She gets so excited. She's going to eat a salad. I'm like, can I have a cheeseburger? Like a salad. With the salad. I, uh -huh. I do love Ooh, salad. tracks. That is good ice cream. That is great ice cream. Oh, Jennifer Migdal in the house. She is? Hello, Jen. my friend. What's your favorite ice cream, Jen? I That's... could probably tell you that. What I is it? I think that? she likes some mint something for some reason. Mint? Do I remember that right, Miss Jennifer? Um, uh, moose tracks. Everyone's saying moose tracks in a twist cone. Wait, what's in, what's what in is moose, moose tracks? tracks? Um, I'm assuming it's like chocolate, ch ch the little chocolate... I don't know what I'm I talking about. I feel like about. it's a form of Rocky Road. Do you remember the place um, right on Route 1 that um, is only open in the summertime? I think it might have closed. There's one in Bethany. Now I feel like it's cookies and cream. She didn't answer yet. I don't remember. Do you remember that place that what? has really good homemade ice cream? What's it called? Do you remember? Wait, where was it again? It's on Route 1. It's right by Big Fish. It's on Route 1 right by Big Fish. And there's one in Bethany. It closed. I know. There's the one still in Bethany. Uh, Oh, it was so good. It was like bonky, bon bonkies. 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 If you're ever in Delaware, bonkies. Yes. Mm, bonkies. Tracy, caramel sutra from Ben and Jerry's. Yes, so good. Really? Delicious. What's yeah. a sutra? And, What's any, that mean? Anything caramel. Anything caramel. I don't know what that means. Yikes. Oh, Kofi. Kofi. Okay. <laughs> you talk. <laughs> um, Coffee. Hello, loves. Yes, mint. See, I knew. Mint. Oh, I love Jennifer's it. Jennifer's one of my oldest and dearest friends, so if I didn't know her ice cream. She also loves cookies and cream. I know she does. We're Oreo. We're Oreo sisters. But wait, here's the question. Mm -hmm. Growing up, yeah. mint chocolate chip ice cream for me was green. Yeah, of course. Right? Is That's it not green anymore? Bad. No, they make it white now. They make it, They don't put the food dye in. I was just going to say, <laughs> oh, they make it natural now? How boring. <laughs> you need the food dye. I like that pretty mint yes. green color, right? Ed, take Tara to New York to a place called Snowman's. Ooh, that What's sounds that? fun. I love that. Mint chocolate chip, yum, yeah. Have you ever been to Serendipity in New York and had one of their ice cream sundaes? No, that sounds very specific. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have great, they have a great brownie ice cream sundae. Wait, mm. I was in Serendipity once when yep. the kids were little. Yep. I think I told you this. And I sat next to Gene Simmons from Kiss. You did not, nope. We didn't talk about I that. I did. Are you sure it was Gene Simmons? <laughs> or was it Laird Hamilton? Gene somebody. No, it was, it was Gene Wilder. No, it was Gene Simmons, and he was with his wife, and I met his wife. Um, because you really, out of his, um, you know, character face that he yeah, sure. wears on stage, yeah. you he's still pretty well uh, How would you know known. who he was? Because you can, because there's a lot of pictures of him without all that makeup on. I wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. You would. Trust me. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, Ben and Jerry's Super Chunky Fudge. What? New York Super Chunky Fudge. I like Tin Roof Sunday. Tin roof. Oh. <laughs> Rusted. <laughs> Frozen hot chocolate from Serendipity. They sold... Gene Simmons, my favorite. See? You, Mary Jo. Mary Jo. Wait, um, uh, Frozen hot chocolate from Serendipity, they actually sell on QVC. I thought that sounds familiar. They do. Yum. Mm -hmm. And it's actually excellent. Yum, yum, yum. All right, Tara, okay. this question, and everybody please answer this. This is like the best question. Mm. Okay. So... Like every time you walk into a room, mm -hmm. you have a theme song that plays. Oh. Like intro music. Okay. What's yours? What's yours? What's yours? No, nope, you're first. <laughs> um, this girl is on fire. 
No, I don't. That's the first thing that popped into my head. Um, and I have to sing it just like that. Um, no. Okay. Uh, Carter's look at, look at Carter over at the door. He's like, wow, you two are really, really screwing up the neighborhood. Oh um, all right, let's get some suggestions from other people. Yep. You know, clearly mine wasn't good. I was thinking that too, Tara. Can't believe Lisa now. Wait, Taryn, don't listen to her. What happened? It was totally Gene Simmons. It wasn't. It was. It's just a lie. No, it totally was. Um, yes, Jen, we did go to serendipity. I thought we did. See? I did. Mm. When you said serendipity, I was like, hmm. Look, you are my sunshine. You are. Oh, uh, that's, that's so sweet. So nice. Tara, you're a nut. I know. <laughs> don't let anybody else know. Uh-huh. <laughs> that, I can't. Move on. Move on. No, born to be wild. Uh-huh. That's what you're pointing Sharing. out, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so what's your song? <laughs> She's done. <laughs> sorry. Wrap it up. Sorry. Are you two sisters? Sorry. No. Your Tammy, are we are not sisters. <laughs> um, and I need a new song. What's in those glasses? I, I know. See, everybody thinks we're really this silly. Always. It is true story, you right. guys. And once, when we first started doing this, somebody asked if I had too much to yeah. drink. She said, the girl next to you, what's her name, Lisa? She seemed, what did she say? Tipsy. Tipsy. <laughs> this is truly. No, this is actually us. This is when People it can fend for us. At 7 a.m. I mean, defend us. I'm or what? Dry. Dancing MC. queen. Dancing queen. I like that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Like, I think I like, I have, some Britney Spears music will be good. What? Like, I should work <laughs> Like what? The only song that popped into my mind, I'm not singing. So forget it. Inappropriate. I don't even get it. Britney Spears. She goes from like, I love James Taylor, <laughs> walks on the beach, um, oh I was in ballet, to something from Britney Spears. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, girls uh, just want to have fun. How about that? Oh my gosh. Okay. So we were in, um, my husband um, has a fun conference every year internationally. And last year we went to Budapest mm -hmm. and we went into a karaoke bar. And I'm um, with my husband's CEO and his wife and me and Joe and then other people from his company. And they hand me the microphone. Of course they did. By the way, what you don't know about Lisa is she would love to be a rock star on stage. True story. Singing. Yes. By the way, I'm surprised my husband hasn't commented. Hold that thought. Because he actually says sometimes he hears Miley Cyrus and she came in like a wrecking ball oh. <laughs> when I enter the room. Because inevitably, I have done something insane, crazy, smashed into something. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you're just like a wrecking ball. So maybe that's the song. It might be. It, it could be. <laughs> it might be. Anyway, Lisa would like to be a rock star. <laughs> Back to that. So they handed it to me and they said, what, what Lisa do you... Lisa has a wild side. You have no idea. <laughs> It's in the vault. <laughs> Gone. They never said, to tell. What do you want to sing in Budapest, right? I'm like, no, what? This is never going anywhere. I can do whatever I want. So, what um, did you sing? It's Raining Men. I, I can't. <laughs> I actually, I'm out. And here's what I didn't when know. When is this over? I, uh, <laughs> you didn't so know what? The words? That Joe's boss taped the entire thing and played it back at a company conference that Joe was speaking at. Come on. And Joe was like, that's my wife. I know Never. it. She's See? a brick. <laughs> House. Jaws. Didn't. That could be, actually. That is, by the way, Ed said totally. <laughs> totally wrecking, wrecking ball. ball. Mm -hmm. He says it all the time. He's like, you're just. <laughs> Do you remember when that video came out, Wrecking Ball? And it was like very um, controversial. Uh, a little bit. Okay. So it was along with Britney Spears. I'm I pretty think sure. You were, you were there when my mom was over and she's like, she was like 85 oh, at the time. Totally. She's like, oh, I saw that video. Yeah. Not impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Not impressed. <laughs> Carol, we get it. We, we get it. We weren't either. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. <laughs> Megan said we need that video. I'm on it, Meg. Uh, mm -mm, I'm mm -mm, on it. Mm -mm. We, my husband and I just talked about it I'm the other day. I'm getting it. Nope. Okay. Okay. Um, as a child, mm -hmm. your favorite restaurant? Oh, the Lobster Pier. Why? So let me just tell you yeah. something. And I became a hostess there. It's no longer there. It actually closed maybe two years ago. And it was such an iconic uh, part of my childhood. Before that, there was a restaurant called the Alpine. And so my parents would take us out to dinner every Saturday night. Really? Every Saturday night. That was the deal. Oh my gosh. Growing up. And so um, there was a jukebox. Now I'm at the Alpine. Hold on. There was a jukebox and Tracy and I could, uh, we would get a quarter. I don't even know if it was a quarter then. Whatever it was, we would get a money. Nickel, right? Yeah, we would get money to go. We could play something on the jukebox. 
So we would go to the same restaurant and eat the same thing. I'm not kidding you. Every Saturday for my whole life. Then we somehow, I think the Alpine closed and then we started going to the Lobster Pier. And Augie, who was the owner at the time, loved her. Um, we just were there all the time. And then when I was looking for a job, she said I could be their hostess. So then I was their hostess. That's actually For quite awesome. a while. It was kind of fun. And then I loved it because when we would go up to New York and see your mom or, or go to yeah. the, the I office I would always there. ask all the peeps to go to the Lobster Pier. It's true. Because it was just, and do you know that when my dad passed away, so this was 10 years ago, we went there in between the services, uh, in between the, uh, I guess it was the wakes. Mm -hmm. And um, they didn't know, and we hadn't said anything. And by the time we got back to the funeral home, there was the most stunning arrangement Seriously? of what do they call like the bird of paradise. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget it. It was truly the most beautiful floral, floral arrangement I had ever seen mm -hmm. from all of your friends really at the nice. Lobster Pier. So for me, it's just so iconic because yeah, it was just, it was like family. Yeah. It was like family. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. best shrimp scampi ever, best clams casino, never to be duplicated. My mom and I just talked about it the other night. Really? You would literally wake up the next morning smelling like garlic and it didn't matter how many times you brushed your teeth oh. or cleared out with mouthwash. Yeah. <laughs> that was the lobster pear. <laughs> oh, so good. So Jen said they had great spicy slaw. Yes. So good. Their salad bar was unbelievable. Gosh, I miss, I like, I, I miss salad bars. Yeah. Now I don't think. No, I know. We can't know. do it anymore. Yeah, but no. like I do like. I, salad bars are probably gone forever. Right. That's never, probably something. They're that, never yeah. coming back. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> Benihana. Oh, I Benihana. love Benihana. Love. We had a place called, um, oh, Jen, what was the name of it? Uh, Hibachi. Uh, I can't believe I can't remember it. Gasho. Gasho. Uh, and we would always go for hibachi. That oh, was fun. Yum. Oh, so good. And they cook and then they flip the thing and you kind of catch it. And yeah. I love that. Melting pot. That was Joe and melting my pot. first date. Is that true? At the melting pot in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Wow. It's our first date. What is that Ben Stiller movie? Which one? Uh, Along Came Polly. <laughs> That's all I can envision with you going to the melting pot. Isn't it like pots and pots of cheese and like rich, rich foods? What's going on? That was your <laughs> you first date. I love cheese. Wow. All right. No, no, it's okay. And she we just came have in like a rain. Yeah, exactly. Ball. See, Amanda loves salads too, right? <laughs> we Amanda get it. Salad. Oh, look, the tavern is Marmy's favorite. The tavern? Um, like, what's that? I don't know. I'm obsessed with your line. Oh, well, thank you. That's so I didn't nice. actually mean to read that out loud, oh. Stacey. Thank you. You're so Love sweet. Love the melting pot. Yeah. Um, home Love. salad bars. Right, yes. Rita. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I could do. A you could actually salad bar. You could. I have every topping known to man for True a salad. True story. She's actually opened my eyes to how delicious salads can be. And she turned me on to Brianna's salad dressing, which if you've never tried that, so good. it's delicious. It's really good. Their, their red blush vinaigrette is awesome. I like their poppy. Potato, potato. What's next? Okay. How did you and Ed meet? Ah, love oh, that. Oh, I love that. Um, so Ed and I met um, way back when, like 100 years ago. I'm not kidding. I was 13. And I was babysitting for his business partner. And I went on a trip with all of them. And that's how we met. And then I worked for his company um, when I wasn't working at the Lobster Pier. True story. Um, in high school. And then all the way through college. And then, you know, later down the road in life, as life has it, we uh, reconnected. It's actually, I love, the, I love the story. Look, I'm eating a Caesar salad as we speak. See? All right, should we do our lightning round? Absolutely. So if you're new, the lightning round is like boom, boom, boom questions. Like it, one word answers, but here's the deal. Laird Hamilton. Laird, yeah. <laughs> you got to, You have to play along. Okay. Just ignore her. She doesn't, she's. she's right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Classical art or modern art? Oh, I don't have an opinion. Modern art. Classical art or modern art? I'm asking that. That was for them. Okay. okay. Good. Did, did you get that? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, beer or wine? Wine. Mm. Camping or binge watching shows at home? Binge watching shows at home. Okay. Working alone or working in a team? Working in a team. I hate being alone. Mm. Dine in or delivery? Dine in. Mm. I actually do love to cook. I do. She's a really good cook too. Thank you. Seriously. What I love about Tara, she doesn't measure anything. And I say that sincerely. It's like, work, it's like my grandma. That's why I doubled up on the soy sauce if you guys were at our dinner party on Monday. 
Did I put soy sauce in here? No. What? I'm going to put it in again. Everyone's like, you already put it in. I'm you like, did. double the soy sauce. Oh, look. Everyone's answering classical, modern, modern from Mara. Neither. D yeah. Neither. I get okay. that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Camping. Yep. Um, for Joanne. I love this Mary home Mary Jo loves for camping. Mara. Yep. Beer. Love that. Mm -hmm. Beer. Jennifer. Beer. We found a new beer that's really good. Yes. Dogfish head, right? Yeah. Slighty Mighty. 90, it's all 90, 90 calories. 90 calories. And mm. it's delicious. It's really good. It's so good. Yeah, totally. All right. All right. Ready? Yep. Um, oh, motorcycle or bicycle? Bicycle. Okay. I'm petrified of motorcycles. Mm, I am too. I think it's because I was a nurse I and I worked in the ER. I think it's because I'm uncoordinated. And I came in like... No, sorry, again. That's Rack actually very true. What she's saying right now, it's very true. And a um, book or ebook? So it's really interesting. I like the quickness of an ebook. I love that, like, I can see something and then be like, I want to, I want to read that. Yeah. But there is something absolutely, like, when you're at the beach, there is something about holding, holding a book. Holding it, right. And the sunscreen and the, oh, I just love it. Love. I love it. Look, I love how everyone's a hard asking. Hard cider. Yes. Oh, I love hard cider, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Mm, yeah. Bicycle for Marcy. Angie says a motorcycle. You're a bicycle. She's wine. Um, what else we got? Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Yep. Oh, we asked this last week, but I got to ask it again. Okay. When sleeping, fan or no fan? Uh, so I'm a very hot sleeper. I could probably use a fan. Ed has 50 blankets on his side. <laughs> I'm dying over on my side. I don't know what the program is, but whew, it is like yeah. not good. And we have four dogs and Jackson, who is our biggest one, literally sleeps down the middle of us on his back like this. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a good thing he's a small dog. <laughs> yeah. True story. TV show or movie? Uh, probably TV show. Yeah. How about you? Um, I like it. I need shorter stuff because... Uh, <laughs> she has no attention span. I don't. And Tara, and Tara, you're the same way. If I'm going to sit down on a sofa, the chances of me falling asleep are 99.9%. .9%. I think you're shortchanging yourself. I think it's 100%. I think, like, I think you're exaggerating. I always, we go to the movie theater yeah. and I said to Joe, like, I might as well bring a blanket and a and pillow. And then you go to those movie taverns where the seats recline. Forget and it, right? my friend, my uh, goddaughter, Grayson, brings a blanket. I'm like, right? well, there'd be zero chance. Right, exactly. The only thing that keeps me awake is they put the food calories next to the food. And I'm just like, why would you do that? Yeah, uh, the nachos are like 2,500 calories. Thank God. At least it's dark in there. You can't see it like, as well. I'll mm -hmm. take the nachos. Um, iced coffee, hot coffee. Hot coffee. How about you? Iced coffee? Hot coffee. Blueberry Dunkin' Donuts is my favorite. Mm. It's my favorite. Melissa said she likes TV shows over movies. Yep. I get it. Yep. Mm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Nicole. Oh, Noelle Banner just joined. She said it's, it's gorgeous, gorgeous out. out. It so is. So I will tell you, it is a little chilly. Not going to lie. Mm -hmm. My hands are frozen. Mm -hmm. But it's 59 degrees. Where's but we're out of the Ed? sunshine now. Ed has hand warmers in his pockets <laughs> yeah. at all times. He's hoarding them. He's, he's, he's watching inside. five dogs yeah. He's right like now. peeking through the slats of the blinds. 100%. Like they're freezing out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, meat or vegetables? Or chicken or vegetables? Like, Would you prefer like a protein or a veggie? I feel like my body does better with proteins, but I haven't been eating as much. But I do love veggies. Like, you know what I made uh, this morning? Because I make for Ed. I say I make it for Ed, but I eat it like probably more than him. I make a tofu scramble in the morning. You love that. I'm obsessed. How do so, you do it? Like, how do you start this whole process? Okay, so I, the night before, this may not be right, so don't get mad at me, but the night before, I, like, drain the tofu, and then I just chuck it in the fridge, still in the container. Then in the morning, I squeeze out all the liquid, and I throw it in a, whoops, back up. I put a little chopped onion, a little olive oil, and some garlic in the bottom of the pan, yeah. my saute pan, and then I crumble in the um, tofu. Okay. And then in the past, I, I was, like, Houdini and I was mixing up all these different spices, but then Ed picked up this already pre-made curry like Ooh. like sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the night before I roast cauliflower and Brussels sprouts Ooh. with shallots. And then I incorporate that in with my uh curry sauce. Okay. And that and then I put it with a little sriracha in a wrap. That's my breakfast. And you love it. I'm... And you're full, like, for a while, right? Oh, till, till lunchtime. Mm. Yeah, see, that's the whole thing. We were talking about this. Yeah. We try to make protein shakes, seriously, Doesn't and be work. good. And, like, an hour later, I'm like, so what's for breakfast? Yeah, I'm, I'm starving. I'm so hungry. Starving. Halfway through our meeting today, I went and got a little bag of potato chips. I was like, mm. Yeah. Oh, well. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, horror movie or comedy movie? Uh, Comedy. I hate horror movies. 
I literally still think that clown is <laughs> under my bed from that, what was that movie? It was so scary. I never watched that stuff. Wait, what was the name of that movie? Twilight Zone? Was it, tw no, no. Oh, Poltergeist? I, don't, I never saw that. Okay. So my great aunt had knitted me uh, a like, it was supposed to be like a Miss Piggy, but mm, it was cute. Okay. But it used to sit up on my dresser until Poltergeist where they're all, there's a scene where a clown is like sitting in the chair and the kid's looking and then the next thing you know, the clown's not there. And then the next thing you know, the clown is reaching up and pulling the kid under the bed. Okay. I can't watch this kind of stuff. Still, okay, I'm 46 years old. <laughs> I watched this movie when I was probably 12 and I could tell you what the room smelled like. That's how vivid <laughs> I remember how scared I am of this movie. So, Miss Piggy got the boot because I was convinced that she was going to murder me in the middle of the night. So my mom said she got rid of her. Fast forward to when they were actually moving out of their our family home and I'm up in the attic helping them drag everything down. Miss Piggy was up there that whole time. Had I known, we would have had to move sooner because there's no way I could have slept. But I'm happy that I have it. Well, the best part is that clearly you're over it. Clearly, it's it didn't even leave it. a mark. No, not at all. Nope. How old were you? Twelve? I don't know. Seven? Five? Thirty some odd years later. Forty-one. Still could tell you the smell of it. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Laundry or dishes? Uh, la la laundry. I love folding laundry, and Ed loves to do the dishes. So it's actually a match made you in like heaven. Folding laundry. Love folding laundry. I like I like putting it in the washer and dryer, and then I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I like it. Good. You can come on over. Okay, <laughs> Great. Jogging or hiking? Jogging. Mm. Yeah. I'm not a big hiker. Hamburger or taco? Taco. But I do love it. You I love hamburgers. I haven't had red meat since December. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. I think that we might end on this one because it could just be my What was the hard question, question, by the way? What was the hard one? Is uh, that it? No. Oh, good. We just skipped it. We skipped it. Good. good. Skip it. Uh, I'm like, you I thought it might have been the song. Like I, I thought it might have been the wrecking ball. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Um, anybody who knows Tara knows that this is the funniest question ever. Is it about my big toe? <laughs> they don't know about that. Tune in. Someday we'll talk about the big toe. Pa I gotta make sure my mom's watching. All right, I have two questions. To okay, ask. go ahead. Okay. Yep. Passenger or driver? A uh, driver. Uh, driver. And I'm a good driver. Uh huh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you think you have like control issues in a car? Not or, at all. Like, micromanaging. I actually tell people that I get car sick just so I can drive. This is what she says. <laughs> I got. I will throw up if I don't drive. <laughs> so what are you gonna say? Right. I'll drive. No one wants that. Yeah. Please no. throw up in my yeah. car. <laughs> <laughs> You're like okay. <laughs> all right. Like I never had a choice. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. True. Okay. True. True. Um. This is a great question. We talk about this all the time. Toilet paper. Yeah. Under. Or over? This is a critical question. So I have the wrong answer because someone in my office, Rich, um, <laughs> was so passionate that it's it's over that uh -huh. he actually pulled up the patent mm -hmm. from us.gov or whatever it is yep. to show me that it legitimately is patented over. I like it under. Mm, nope. I do. Mm -mm. I like it under. Nope. So a funny story, probably inappropriate, but my dad was so hilarious about, you know, he had two girls, right? So he would joke that all we did was use like the dental floss, the toilet paper. He's like, are you guys like swinging in there? <laughs> what, why are you using so much toilet paper? He's like, when I was in the army, you got one square. My sister's <laughs> smiling right now. You got one square, wipe fold, wipe fold. You two are in there like, Vroom. do you remember when they had the, the scented toilet paper things where it had the beads in it? In did the you? middle of yeah, the yeah, yeah. Like and the, it was like, the so, so he'd be like, Vroom. And you'd hear the beads like, <laughs> anyway, that whenever someone mentions toilet paper, that is what I think of. Oh my gosh. I know, gosh. too much information, but there is my father in a nutshell. Well, I think we got to end on that one. Okay. <laughs> it's I don't where know do, where to go where from you, there. Where do you go from there? I mean, truly. All right. Well, this was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. So there's a lot of unders. Thank you. Mm -mm. It's over, by I the way. I will tell you, the inventor did think it should go over but whatever what did he know see i think when it's <laughs> under that's when you pull too much oh, when is that it's what it over is? you don't pull right. as much okay what do you guys sure. think 
Oh, I love it. Uh, Joan Domsky says, sounds like my dad. He had seven girls. True oh, story. I love that. I'm, oh, hold on. I can go back. What? Look, Stacy said, if I go to someone's house that's under, I switch it to over. <laughs> Stacy, that's I awesome. love it. I love it. <laughs> Spin it like a slot machine. I know. Oh. I know. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, Sharon, yep. that's hysterical. Yep. Or, I think um, we're going to have to actually take like a poll on this. Yeah. Yeah, your sister's totally agreeing yeah, with of course everything she, you're well, saying. Well, she's agreeing with white fold, white fold. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Mary says, love dad stories, right? Every, oh, my gosh. so funny, right? I have right? so many dad stories. We could spend an hour just, he was just the best. I think next week we should talk about like what your dad did because I think it's fascinating. Yep. Maybe next week we'll talk about our dads. I love it. And what they did and what your dads did. I love like, it. It's always yeah. fun to know like what totally. they did for a living yeah. and what it was like. What or they just like what their philosophy was or yeah. how they how they impacted you. And I mean, I'll never load a dishwasher the same. Oh, we'll save that for next week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So wait, before we go. Yes. What do we got going on? We have. Okay. Oh, we have a must have tomorrow night. Oh my gosh. So I was like. I mean, unless you're my mom and tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> it's not. It's Thursday. Seven o'clock. Yep. Facebook yep. and Instagram. Yep. Uh huh. And by yep. the way, it's it's amazing because I was using it today. Uh, yes, it is amazing. And it comes in gray. And so it gets everything super clean. Um, oh, I like that. Um, what else? Uh, uh, what do we get Friday? Friday? I'm going to do a use and care chat at Yep, noon. love that. So we're going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Saturday, I think we have some special editions going on. We do on. have a special edition must have. Mm -hmm. um, Sunday, I will be on In the Kitchen with David. Yeah. Um, with uh, supposedly a one time only. So hopefully that stays. Don't quote me because yes. things change around a lot, especially and in this um this day and age. Yeah, What's and it's amazing. On? So yeah. don't miss out on that. And then Monday night, we have our dinner party again. Yeah, what come do, back. Do we know what we're making yet? We don't know yet, do no, we? No, we don't know yet. But I did find a couple of fun recipes from the vault. You did? Fozzie said it's time to wrap it up. All right. Mm -hmm. well, All right, you guys. This was awesome. Let's take our sunglasses off so they can actually see us. I Sorry guess. if we were rude, but truly, it's um, we're both super light sensitive. Yes. So, uh, But it was fun to do it out here. So thanks for- And mine are for, prescription. Uh, so if I was going to be reading, <laughs> like, I needed those. She'd be like, um, uh, okay. We love you guys. Thank you for joining us. This was uh, a lot of fun. I hope you had as much fun as we did. Yeah. I know we were super silly, but a red cardinal just flew by. So I think dad approves oh. on us maybe talking about dads next week. I love All right. That. Love you guys. Thanks. See, See you soon. Bye. Bye.